Hey everybody, in today's video we are going to look at Perplexity's new feature called Spaces and how that can kind of uh, kind of help you in your information journey. So welcome to Stack Snacks where we try to make AI fun, exciting, and accessible for everybody. And I don't think we've talked a lot about Perplexity too, too much in, in some of our previous videos, but if, uh, if you don't know what it is, it is essentially... Um, kind of trying to be AI search first and foremost um, you know that is kind of what their uh, what their kind of uh, proposition is so they essentially will kind of do a do a search for you write a summarization and then also have the links out to different resources um, that you can try out so now they have a new feature called spaces which is kind of like they had a. They kind of rebranded it and started adding this to some. Um, I forgot what they called it, but um, but allow they added some new features, which I think are kind of worth us digging into today. So um, I have my spaces up here, and we've got some example spaces down here. So if we open up here, we'll see we can see kind of what the um, kind of area looks like here. So. This is kind of like what this area is about. We've got a thread. We can add, we can do a pro search and not a pro search. I am on a pro account. And um, full disclosure, I think I got it free for a year because they were giving out a lot of free years with different um, partnerships. So I am on a free, I am on a pro account, but I don't pay for it. Um, so you can do a pro search and the pro search we can get into that. We can get into that in some of our examples, actually. So we'll hold on to that for a second. And these are some threads that will show up once you start searching in the space. So the spaces can have threads that will stay there. And right, we have a little custom instructions, which is, you know, if you've used, you know, custom GPTs or Claude projects, right? Or even in ChatGPT, you can write a custom instruction for yourself kind of helping scope the model to what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and inside of Perplexity, you can actually pick some different models, which is kind of cool, depending on what you're working on. So we got that, and then here's where this starts to get interesting. Uh, you can actually add your own files, and it will include, it'll search, and it'll include um, your... Uh, your files in its answers. So I made, uh, no, I don't want to use this one. Let's go back. Don't laugh at my, at my searches. I thought I made a blank one. Well, we'll make a blank one. Uh, we will call this demo, demo video. And we will use we'll use 40 um please respond back to me with always wait please respond always in a nice tone and please let me know what you got from my files and what is from the web all right so we've got demo video so let's go into here I wrote my custom instructions so let's add some files now I do have a random <laughs> assortment of things so let's see there's no real theme to any of these uh, a YouTube checklist a YouTube PDF and then a CSV on some uh, stats for the YouTube channel I know the for my website. Alright, so these are going in. And we'll just put a couple queries over them, see what happens. See if it hits the files or does it try to do a web search. Alright, this is I didn't think this was a particularly large file. Alright. <laughs> we are in business. Okay, so if we go over here we can actually we can scope our things just to our files or just to the web. That's kind of nice. And we have the pro. We'll do a pro just so you guys can see what it looks like. So, um, 
can you give me the five most important steps before launching a YouTube video? So now, generic query. So we're going to see it's going through my files real quick. You see it kind of went through my two files and it gives us kind of some uh, kind of it's there the five that it got from that now the cool thing is you can see if we go in here you can see it's cited where it got where it got those that information from this was a great YouTube checklist from um, that I found that I reference a lot and cool thing too is you can now just kind of click through here get some follow-ups it's kind of nice um what are the most viewed pages on so now let's see if i can check out my csv um Okay, so it did actually it did query over the uh, this is real. Gotta love those stats. Look at that, two hundred ninety seven impressions. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, let's try. Let's see if we can do a bigger query that makes it go to the web and try to go through. Um, uh, what are the steps to? YouTube monetization. That might not be in in our files, but let's see. Okay, yeah, see it's going to the web too. Really, really cool. So right, look at the sources right here. We've got our files and then we got a couple websites, so that's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. It doesn't look like it's sourced. The files in my answer too much not just because that might mean there's not a lot about this topic in there but it did consider them in the search which I thought is cool um, and we can see here with the pro search it breaks it down a little bit more it does a couple queries it reads these files right it does a couple more queries reads those websites so kind of nice right kind of nice um, so let's go back to our space and I want to get rid of. Um, all right, so let's just get rid of our CSV just just so we can see if that what what happens. Um, and I am a new YouTuber. What are the best things to do before posting a video? You know, one final query here just to see. So it's stuck strict trick to the files, which makes sense because a lot of those documents were like before you publish, when you're publishing, promotion. So very cool. Very cool. So I I gotta admit, I, I really like this feature. It's again, it's interesting that perplexity is coming at it coming at things from this way because you know, you can upload your files to Claude if you're paying. You can't upload your, you know, you can't upload files into ChatGPT. Um, but them, uh, perplexity is kind of searching and summarization engine and combining it with your files. Um, I think there's definitely some really interesting uh, use cases that we can come up with, you know. You can use like a company knowledge management, use this for company knowledge management, upload a bunch of PDFs that you need people to know, um, or common, you know, kind of common questions. Um, you know, you can use it for querying a bunch of data. Like you saw, I went over a CSV. Um, it's a, it feels slightly more accessible also maybe to, 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 cause it's kind of, it's not as intimidating. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Um, 
not as intimidating and it feels much more like um right being able to go out to the web you feel like you trust it a little bit more too because it's doing um you know kind of that you know multi-part search now you know you can make the argument of well one i don't know if just in full disclosure if there are if there is training going on when you upload your files and on your searches so keep that in mind if there's any sensitive documents definitely check out uh, what perplexities rules are around that um, and you know I think I find myself using perplexity more and more um, as kind of part of the toolkit um, it hasn't really replaced anything just yet obviously my use cases I'm, I'm always going to try out a bunch of different stuff um, but you know, I find it kind of, it's always kind of hanging around. Right. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great little app. Again, I'm lucky I'm, I'm on the free tier for another year or so. So, you know, we'll kind of see what happens, um, in that year, your frame. do I become hooked and they have a customer? Um, but this spaces product, I think could go a lot of ways. I think, you know, how cool would it be to hook up your, you know, Google Drive, your Notion, um, other little connectors that you have out there in the web, right? Like, so, so, let, like, there's not that, like, uploading, downloading constantly. Maybe it's just a folder in Google Drive that you can kind of query over, um, which would be awesome, right? Live data. Um, so there's definitely lots of things they could do to expand this and kind of make it... Long night, guys. Sorry. Um, making certain areas of your life and of your business, like really in these like deep, 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 tight little silos, um, I think could be really interesting. So, if you guys are using it, let me know. Um, if you're using Perplexity, you have cool use cases, let us know as well. Um, we'd love to see it and we'd love to talk about it more. So, thank you all for stopping by and we'll see you next time.